yes year. We haven't spoken in a while. And that's why I'm making this kind of like explanation video. Let's talk. So as you see, I'm here in my car and um, I was meaning to do this video for a couple of weeks now and I'll finally have the time to do it. And I uh, gotta apologize to everyone because I didn't hold my word, didn't keep my word. I wanted to upload like every day, last video, last videos, you know, were really about encouraging you and you know sharing gospel sharing what God has laid on my heart which I still want to and still is on my heart but I kind of put my standard so high and put myself in on such a pressure that I simply couldn't keep it up I mean if you can imagine I'm married have a child young child toddler and um, then in the time I was starting to upload daily, my mom came over, which was great. We had a great time, uh, but that just didn't work out time-wise. So here we are. I took a break, sort of. <laughs> I really failed, you guys. I really want to apologize. I'm sorry that I stopped uploading. I know some of you really use these videos for yeah for your just encouragement and almost like you know spiritual input and um, that really blessed me for the ones that told me not just online but also offline that kind of like approached me and told me hey you know what you do is really a uh, blessing yeah I'm sorry that I stopped I really want to get back into it I cannot commit to anything I don't want to commit to anything because I don't know how often I can do it I'll just do it the way I can and the way you know the Lord permits and allows and gives it to me yeah and I also want to share a little bit of a pre-chimony right now I don't know if you can imagine but being here as a German now more than a year but back then kind of like three quarters of a year half a year um, I was really uh, missing home and really missing friends and missing family and just German lifestyle and you could maybe call it still like a culture shock I don't know but whatever was going on I really felt a little bit depressed and I'm um, opening up about this now and this is nothing that you know you have to I don't know like feel sorry for or you know this I'm not on in self pity or anything I'm good now I'm really good but what was going on um, then was like I said I was missing people and I yeah, I really fell a little bit spiritually in like a little bit of a hole, I guess you could say. And my wife probably can, as we say in Germany, sing a song about this. But I was you know, complaining a lot and just, you could say grumpy or not, not happy. You know, you know how it is. Maybe you know how it is when you're depressed, when you're just down. And um, you're just, you know, watching YouTube and Netflix all the time, you know, it doesn't help either. <laughs> So, I went to Germany, that was just maybe a month, one and a half months ago, uh, to help my mom, to help my grandma, and it was just me, without my wife, without my son, and that was really, really good. Before I went there already, I, God was moving in my heart and was showing me, of course, that I have to stop complaining, stop thanking God. And when I was there, I really kind of said goodbye, I guess you could say. I really could let go. God really helped me in the process, really dealt with me with my heart. Not just there, before Germany, after Germany, in Germany, dealt with my heart to just be thankful and content with what I have. And uh, I would like to share two scriptures with you, if I may. <laughs> Philippians 4.11, where uh, Paul says, Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am to be content in other words you know I have learned that in whatever situation I am to be content to be okay to be satisfied to be good or even thankful I bet with you that he was thanking and praising God I mean he, he 
says in other scriptures that he spoke in tongues more than anyone else. You have to imagine that Paul is the apostle that was stoned, that was <laughs> half dead, left half dead, and you know, just <laughs> has gone through severe persecution. And he says, I've learned probably in those situations, whatever he's going through, that he is thankful, that he's content, that he's okay, right? Not just okay, you know, okay, I, I, I tolerate it, but to look on Jesus and on what he has given. And just, just that just convicted me and just, you know, just the whole, the, the fact that he says that convicts me. So I am thankful, I am thankful that I'm here, even though maybe you you look on the outside and see all the material things that are just overwhelming, like a huge blessing, which I am super thankful for. But you know, if, if you're missing people, right, um, that's the point where it kind of like, you know, goes, goes on the inside and can be worse than material things. However, um, I learned to be content and thankful. And as soon as I did that and changed my attitude and really changed my heart and repented and turned, you know, God just put people in my in my way and it, like gave me words through people that really were, uh, yeah, guiding and really just spoke to me and really changed my whole perspective to be content. And also Hebrew, Hebrews 13, 5 to 6 says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. Right, there it is. Just be content, be happy, be thankful with what you have. Paul says, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? And this is the main point, right? Whatever, you know, I have, I'm super thankful. Even if I'm not well, I'm, help, I'm thankful. You know, I, th I thank God for what he's given me. You know, God really gave me a word the other week through someone that just reaffirmed that I'm at the right place and the right time. And what I'm doing is for his glory you know God says okay you know even though the things that are harder for you you know just do them as a worship to me and that just boom just exploded everything right that just everything just went away almost <laughs> you know where I'm just thankful I'm like yeah I do I just do it for you and it's so much easier it's so much easier if you know okay God is with you and you do it for him and like it's it's okay what you do like you're at the right time the right moment the right things that you do so i'm thankful so this is my you know my encouragement for you as a preacher money ish thing to be just content with what you have to be content with god has given you the situation he has put you in with the friends the people around you the friends that you might not have or the people that you might not have the things that you might not have the 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 goals that you have might not yet reached Still be content with what you have because you are where you are and you are where you are for a purpose. Whatever God is doing with you in that moment of life, it's okay. It's in God's hands. He's with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Why are you fearing? Why are you complaining? Why are you, you know, being mad and, and grumpy about it? Trust the Lord. Look on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize and not on what the enemy is doing. Be thankful, praise Him for the things that you have. Look on the things that you do have. Thank you, Lord, for whatever, even the simple thing. Thank you, Lord, for a roof over my head. Thank you for a bed. Thank you for food. Thank you for wife, son, you know, in my situation. Thank you for financial stability. Thank you for a job. Thank you for whatever. Maybe you're struggling and you don't have a job. Well, then thank God for even the struggle because <laughs> God will manifest himself and will show himself faithful even in the struggle, especially through the struggle. <laughs> Look at all the people in the Bible that went through struggle. Those were the moments. Even with Jesus, when he went through the struggle in the temptation moment, God was faithful, wasn't he? He was then after the temptation, after the devil left him, angel came and helped him and gave him food and so on and so forth. Thank him. Thank him. Being grumpy, being complaining doesn't help you. It doesn't bring you any inch, centimeter, millimeter forward. So just thank him. Just be content with what you have. And uh, look on Jesus, man. So as I said, I don't know if I can keep up with those videos. I don't know when the next video will come out. I will upload here and there. 
as the Lord gives and um, maybe it will be more regular I can't say at this time uh, thank you for your faithfulness thank you for your understanding thank you for being awesome and being who you are and for watching these videos and um, I just pray that God really blesses you and that God will use these videos and that it would be more than just this me rambling and talking but that God would really move through his word Amen. Till next time. Love you guys. Bless you. See ya. Uh, I'm out of here. Uh.